Hi, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, USB DACs, um, although in this case this is a headphone amplifier and digital to analog converter or DAC. Um, this model is made by iFi and it's called the Zen DAC. Um, I was able to purchase it online uh, for $129. Uh, it, for what it does and how it's built, I'd say it's a, an excellent uh, deal. Um, and with its recent uh, firmware update that I installed, I, I'm amazed how good it sounds. I've used many DACs and this, uh, I'd say, sounds as good, if not better, than quite a few of them that I've used in the past. And for the price, uh, just I consider it amazing, actually. Um, I'm just going to move on and show you some of the images. This unit, uh, this is obviously just a standard image of it, but uh, this is my DAC itself. And the back of the unit, you'll see that you have variable and fixed. And I am have it in a fixed mode because I'm going into a preamp. So you have your left and right uh, channels. Uh, this is not intended for surround, it's for stereo. It's, used, it's intended for headphones, uh, but you can use it in a home stereo, um, as I mentioned, I think, already. Uh, and of course, I'm streaming using a streaming device where I'm going uh, digital in to the back of the uh, unit. And then I've also bought a, a, a additional power supply that is not readily needed, but it bumps up the sound quality and may be useful for certain uh, headphones that you might use that might need a little more um, juice or just if it's for a, as I mentioned a home stereo I think the bass sounds better it's, it just sounds like it's got more muscle behind it and the reason for the separate purchase um, and I was lucky that I could actually buy both the power supply and the unit together uh, for 149 on Amazon um, so that might be the best approach if you're wanting to save some money. Uh, if you buy the power supply separately, it may cost you 50 bucks. So, uh, but it is a quality power supply. So that is the reason for the additional cost. And um, moving on um, with the unit, you'll get uh, short little RCA cables, uh, USB cable, a little bit of little manual and a little warranty card. Uh, be aware that if you do do the firmware update, there is potential that you might void the warranty, or would have to send the unit unit in if you uh, did not update it properly. So, if you are even considering doing any firmware updates, uh, and that's not to be confused with driver updates. Uh, driver updates would be for your you know, if you're using Windows, uh, um, I don't know if I don't think Mac needs the drivers and Linux doesn't, to my knowledge. So, uh, but Windows would if you're using Windows in in, in that setup. Um, but the firmware update, if you do do that update, just read it caref the instruction carefully. If you don't understand it, then you better find somebody who can help you. Otherwise, I wouldn't uh, initiate the uh, update. Um, this is what the power supply looks like. If you, if you uh, purchase it with the unit or if you buy it separately, it looks like that. And then I have a uh, Modi multi-bit, which I compared it with, and it was very close. I uh, This is the uh, 249 uh, uh, multi-bit Modi as opposed to the $100 one. Um, and I, it, it might look a little tacky. I just put the heat sink on top of it because the chassis runs a little, a little warm. And I'm, I just think it, it, it makes it cooler. Uh, it makes the chassis cooler and that's why I have it on top. Um, but I was impressed with how the iFi compared to the uh, Modi. And uh, this is by Shit or Shite. I think the cor correct pronunciation pronunciation is actually shite from Germany, but uh, Americans will call it shit. Uh, it's got two I's in it, S-C-H-I-I-T. Um, this is the uh, the older streaming device I'm using by Logitech. I have it, I've got it tweaked. I'm actually going USB out 
uh, there's a software uh, implementation that you can do that allows you to use the USB as an output and, instead of an input. And then I have it going into the iFi. And I'm just amazed how, how good this thing sounds with this setup here in my stereo. So I thought I would put uh, my two cents out, out uh, it, to YouTube for anyone who might be interested in this. And in the show notes, I will also link a review uh, that I thought was done uh, very well by a gentleman. I don't even know how to pronounce the channel, but I will link his uh, review of, of the uh, iFi Zendak. I thought he did a great job. So um, here's what it looks without the flash uh, camera. And then if you do do the update, the you'll know if you got the firmware update done correctly because the yellow, the colored backlight of the volume knob will only be yellow. Um, it won't be multicolored after uh, doing the firmware. So you'll know that you've actually done it correctly. Um, and then this is what it looks like from above. Uh, I've got the Modi, I'm going into a, I'm using the Modi for my video. Um, for television and for movies going optical out and I may link the uh, company that makes this glass uh, optical cable uh, which I think is quite audible and that's why I made the purchase of it and it, it cost anywhere between 80 and 100 bucks if I remember correctly um, and uh, moving on here's the purchase I made with the power supply um, you may have to look further to find this on Amazon, but I was able to get it with it. So I thought it was a great deal. And uh, that's it. I just wanted to give you my uh, initial impressions of this uh, headphone um, DAC uh, setup or headphone amp uh, with DAC uh, unit. I think it is probably one of the better deals out there right now and worthy of... Uh, using in a um, stereo system or headphone setup for that matter. Thanks for watching.